Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So we are going to be doing an old school, not that I haven't done it in that long, but like you guys have been requesting more high-end luxury products and I used to do WTF every single week and WTF does not exist anymore because uh, I cannot put WTF on my thumbnails anymore or my videos will be demonetized. So I need to find a new name for this type of a video. So let me know in the comments below, what should I call this? I really thought of WTH, but then everybody's like, um, isn't that like kind of just the same thing because people think that it's just like, what the hell? And I'm like, no, but it's like, what the huh? And I thought it was funny, but I don't think anybody else thinks it's funny. So help me out. I need to know what to call the series. Leave it below. There is still a place once a week for me to try out crazy higher end luxury products that are kind of different and put them through like a full day wear test, which is exactly what we are going to do today. I'm going to swatch everything, try everything on, and then wear one of them all day long. So what we're talking about is from Givenchy. I did receive this in PR and I'm not going to lie. At first, I thought this was a nice luxury tin of cookies and I was really excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I have Givenchy cookies. That's so cool. They're really fancy. I bet they're gluten-free. So I cracked into here and I was like, mmm, luxury cookies. And I was like, oh, lipstick. I mean, that's a really weird response actually, but I looked inside here and I was like, oh, it's, it's their lipstick. You know, these actually are very different. Now the hashtag they're using is, this is not what you think. Hashtag, this is not what you think. So I wanted to know what on earth they meant by that. And I cracked into one of these and it's like a fuzzy lipstick. I don't even know. This looks weird to me. There's a hole in the center. It's a liquid lipstick. It's matte. I don't really know if it's going to be one of those that dries down completely matte that is traditionally with a doe foot applicator, you know, the kind that like really like dry down and they wear all day, or if this is just more of a melted down matte lipstick. I guess we're gonna find out together. So I am gonna try all of these on and they look really cool. I don't know if this outer edge is, it looks like it's lipstick though. Survey says it's plastic. So they're all on the outer edge. Like they all look exactly the same. On the little card that I got in here, which basically reads like a romance novel. I mean, it's like making me wanna fall in love with lipstick. It's making you think that you're gonna go on vacation with it. Just the way that they're like, this tantalizing color will coat your lips in texture like you've never felt before. It's just, it's like, what? Um, okay, so this says, never before, you're gonna flaunt. Never before seen pen-like foam applicator hmm? that's designed to deliver just the right amount of long lasting, super vibrant whipped creamy lip color. It does say that this includes hyaluronic acid. I love that in a lip product because it helps to kind of plump everything up. This says it has gatulian oil extracted from exotic flowers. Sounds great to me. It's going to maximize the lips erasing aging lines. So this says that it's available at Sephora. There are 14 shades. I don't think I have 14 shades here, but we're gonna try what we have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight of the shades. Let's get down to it. And then I am going to kind of vlog and take you guys with me throughout the day. How much are you? That's what I really wanna know. G Von G for the longest time, I thought the brand name was Javinci. <laughs> Javinci. Oh man, this tin is making me want some cookies. What are you called again? Hold on. Couture Twist. Oh my God, guys, this is $37. That's expensive for a lip product. I mean, I know that Givenchy, I mean, even if you buy a lip balm, I mean, my God, like you're gonna pay top dollar. It's like Tom Ford. It's like a very luxe line. So I shouldn't be surprised by that, but um, hey, it has a really good rating. So that's nice. Oh, it only says it wears up to six hours. So it doesn't have like the 25 hour wear claim or whatever. All right, so let's scooch in a little bit. Let's try these on. You guys, this is like a mystery. I have no idea what any of these shades are. Normally when I do like try on videos, I go from lightest to darkest because the darker ones typically will stain your lips. But with this, we really just have no idea at all. So this whole thing right here, it's kind of strange. You have your fuzzy stuff right here, which really just kind of looks like moldy old lipstick. I was just sorting out my MAC lipsticks. I have an old lipstick that I opened up and then I was like, oh, I'm like, oh, I need to be careful and throw away expired makeup. It's so dangerous. This one is like full, like full fur coat. <laughs> this is so gross. That's what an old lipstick looks like if you guys have ever been curious because you're like, when does makeup expire? Well, when it gets fuzzy like this, that's a good sign. And it also, 
really stinks. That's in the trash. Let's see what color comes out of here. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I'm, oh, a lot came out. This is the shade Nude Tweed number 100. All right, I'm just gonna go straight from here and straight on and we shall see. Oh my gosh, it smells really good. It smells exactly like Trish McAvoy, a black, blackberry vanilla perfume, like spot on. That's actually kind of weird. Huh. You know, that is surprisingly beautiful. I really do like that. I feel like the L'Oreal chocolate collection impressed me so much for 10 bucks that it's gonna be steep competition because I am really being picky about what I like, what I keep in my collection, what I recommend to you guys. And you know, this is not bad, but it's nothing that's making me go, ooh, we all need this. But it went on fine. So um, one down, seven to go. Again, that was nude tweed number 100. Okay, next up, number 308, Rouge Mohair. Ooh, that is, whoa. This is the color I think I look like crazy person in. I mean, isn't this kind of like the color that your like crazy aunt wears, like kisses you on the cheek or something? Like this is like the, like very neon pink. Mm. Okay, I have to say the only thing that's making me go, mm, is I like the YSL ones better. Wait, is it YSL? No, Dior has one that's like a velvet, they call it a coal, it's like a velvet matte. And they have a neon pink that is super flattering, but really, really, really opaque. This one, I'm still kind of seeing a little bit of my lip underneath, even though it is very bright and vibrant. It's not like full saturation opaque, so I'm not so sure about this one. Moving on. Going into the shade Nude Cashmere. I think I'll like this. Ooh, wow, <laughs> she overdid it. Okay, see, this is my kind of color. I love a good bright peachy nude. This actually looks a lot like 903C from Wet n Wild. I do really like this one. This is really pretty. Okay, I'm gathering from these that they don't dry down completely. You know, like a Jeffree Star matte or ColourPop, like those like dry down, full, full matte mattes. This is just gonna be kind of like what you would expect from a bullet tube of matte lipstick. Just the actual application itself is a little bit different. I like this one. This has a really even smooth coverage. I feel like it is kind of filling in some of the lines, which is really, really nice. This one's a winner. I really like this. Nude cashmere, I'm putting it in a separate pile. Oh my God, my poor lips when I do these videos. Ow! This tastes disgusting too. All right, now we have Fuchsia Angora, guaranteed to hate it. Just kidding, I just usually don't like fuchsia. Yep, that is not for me. Wait, isn't this just like the other one? What the hell did I just do? You guys, these are a little tricky to put on with the type of applicator it is. If you have too much on here, it's really, really easy to turn into Miranda Sings. Oh my gosh, you're ruining my video. I'm not ruining your video. Come here. I just did the most beautiful application of lipstick you've ever seen in your whole life. What do you think? Um, you didn't do a good application. No, 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 Come wait. Here. Come no. here. I'm, I know it's not kiss proof. Nope. 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 I love you though. Yeah, your lips are all janky. Bye bye. Yeah, I really messed up the application part of this shade, but we kind of get the idea, right? Like it's fuchsia. I'm probably not gonna wear it again, but this one did go on pretty evenly. And James came in at the perfect time to see if these are transfer proof. They are not. Ow. Now we're going to try shade 411, which when I give you the number, I'm pointing at the menu because I don't know how to say this. We're gonna try on this beautiful color and it's purple. Not gonna lie, you guys, the applicator on here, it is kind of tricky to work with. And I'm probably twisting too much up, but the problem is until you get it loaded, like you'll twist and twist and there'll be nothing and then there'll be like a delay and then all of a sudden like all the, you know, stuff will come out. So, ooh, this one's gonna stain. I just, ooh, no, I do not like this one. Oh, why am I having a hard time applying these? Like they feel really nice. You can see that this one is pretty blotchy splotchy, but the application, I, I don't like the applicator. 
I have now wiped off like most of my foundation surrounding my lips and I'm not even gonna be able to like touch it up the right way because I used, I used my sister's foundation today. Holy heck, you guys, she has the best foundation. Like I gave it to her just because I was like, here, have this, like on a visit. I had never tried it before. It's the Laneige cushion. I am going tonight to try and find it at Target. They carry it there. It is so good. Like it's so, so good. It shocked me. I love it. Okay, so moving on, we are now gonna try orange, number 306. I'm gonna try to not put so much up. Aren't you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna wipe some of it off so I don't have so much on here. I just did like one spin and look what happens. I'm not even like, look, one spin. I like this color. I actually think this is really, really pretty and I like how matte it is and vibrant, but this is just, you guys, it is still kind of a little bit splotchy blotchy and really difficult to apply. And I feel like you do potentially waste a lot of the product because if you even turn it just slightly, like a lot comes out. So I'm, I am struggling. I really thought that this would be an easier time, but sadly it is not. All right, we have two left. Let's get through this. This is the shade 4112. Again, trying to make the applicator work and I just, I really, I'm at a point that I kind of just give up. I don't know why this is not working for me. It's just not, but we have one more to try on and we're gonna, we're gonna do it and then I'm gonna wear it. All right, we have this shade 309. This is like a reddish pink. All right, so here we have it. This is the shade that I am going to test drive for the rest of the day. It does seem to really like transfer off quite a bit. So I don't know that we will meet the six hour wear time, but I will be happy to check in with you guys and let you know how it's going. You know, you guys kind of know how I feel about the applicator right now, but it is what it is. The, you know, presentation is gorgeous. The formula on the nude shades, I like much more than the darker ones. But that being said, for 37 bucks, I don't know that this this is really gonna be worth it at the end of the day, but we're still gonna find out together how this all goes. I'm gonna insert right now a giant arm swatch of all of the shades side by side so you can see all eight of them together and compare uh, the color range. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Puka, I know you're judging my lipstick so hard. I can feel it. You've just been looking at me with disappointment. Look at that face, oh my God. So serious. What? Oh my gosh, no, I, I'm showing my dead flowers. Ah, I killed the orchids again. This is the third time. So embarrassing. Oh my gosh, Pooka, I'm embarrassed. I already told you earlier that I hated your lipstick. You know what, James? No <laughs> one cares. Yes, no one cares. Do. My flowers are dead. My dog is being sassy with me, but you love me, right? You do. I know you do. Go get a toy. Get a toy. Get it, play, playtime, fetch. He just doesn't like being a dog, I swear. <laughs> all right, you guys, it is now past midnight and all of my makeup looks horrible. I don't know why I keep doing this. I wait until like the very last minute of the day and then I whip this camera out and my hair looks crazy and my face looks crazy. Anyway, whatever. So the lip product, you guys, no, I do not like it it wore off so quickly i had a bulletproof coffee like shortly after filming and it got all over the plastic lid it just kind of immediately wore down to what you see right here i was in target earlier it was a very exciting night and i looked in the mirror at target and i was like Ugh, because the color had actually like somehow gotten outside of my lip line and i had to take like a wet paper towel and kind of fix that so i all in all find this product pretty annoying and I would not recommend it. So I did not think that would be the case because Givenchy is fancy and fabulous and normally their stuff is really great, but this one just did not do it for me. The applicator was a little messy. I get the concept of it, but it just didn't do what I needed it to do. And the formula wears off so quickly that it's really not anything that revolutionary or different in my opinion to warrant the $37. So that's where I stand. I did really like a couple of the nude shades um, and I could make 
maybe get into it maybe the darker ones no there's there's better out there so that's the end of this i love you guys i hope that you enjoyed this and if you did you know what to do thumbs up the video make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any future videos and ring that notification bell i love you guys so much i will see you in my next video Mwah. good night puka good night my little lamb he sleeps like this for reals good night pookie sweet dreams Ha <laughs>